Hey guys, it's Fetters here, and today we're going to be going over the new YouTube live streaming stream now feature. It's still in beta. Um, I just actually got access to it today, so I'm going to go over it just a little bit with you guys, show you some of the features, and uh, what's new and what's changed. Um, if you guys do remember the old way, you used to have to go to events and you had to schedule an event, and I mean, it was a process to set up a live stream. Well, now they've got the stream now button here if you go to your dashboard find stream now just click on the stream now button and you see out here it shows you if you're online or offline you know if you're getting data if not but the awesome thing is is that they have changed now to where your um, live stream is always on the same uh, URL so URL now or mine will be uh, www.youtube.com slash user slash fetters slash live. It will always be on the, at the same spot at all times. When you go to that, that URL, it will always take you to a, a screen that will show you. Actually, I think I can click on it right here. It will show you this. At all times, this will be here, and it will show if you're offline or online whenever you want to uh, check someone's live stream. So if they're live streaming, it'll show up right here. If not, it just shows up here and says the stream is offline, which I think is uh, that's an awesome new new feature that we have this dedicated URL now, and it's not some different URL for the randomness all the time. Okay, now whenever uh, you come down here, you can change your thumbnail. You can always add a thumbnail and change it. Um, if you do not change your thumbnail, it will be the same every time you go live streaming. So you can change it every time you make a new thumbnail, add it in there, you can change it every time, or you can just leave it the same. It's kind of up to you how you want to do that. Um, whenever you set up your stream, you can still come over here, you know, you add your stream info, um, optional features, go live. See what I'm saying? Um, come down here, you can enter your title, your description, just like before. Um, the cool new thing is you got a category gaming and it will actually give you a gaming title so like you can click in say like uh, say Call of Duty it gives you a list of all of the Call of Duty games and you choose a game that you want your your uh, live stream to be associated with say Advanced Warfare you just click COD Advanced Warfare there uh, your encoder setup here's your server URL and now you have a stream key it's not like the three thing. It's not. It's just. It's simplified the process so much. I love it. Um, over here in analytics now, it will show you a watching now, and it has like a little graph, and it shows you, you know, from eight to current. Has a little graph of how many people are currently watching your live stream, and it also has a graph for your comments per minute. So it shows your comments and comments per minute on how many your live stream is getting. You also have a stream health like before it tells you you know what's going on with your stream things like that but I love the watching now and the comments you don't have to go to you know you don't have to go to preview the page anymore everything is right here for you to see uh, comments your chat still here and it actually shows up your chat is always live like whenever someone goes to your page like go to your watch page see the chat is here there's always a chat there so people can always come chat on your live stream if they want to you don't have to be live for someone to come chat it's just like how it, how it was set up on uh, on twitch you know you can enable live chat automatically block, block spam messages the same as before um, I just love the fact that they've simplified it you can share your stream right here from this from this setting uh, stream options you can come over enable DVR make archive optimized for interaction optimized for interaction means that you have less latency which means there's less lag on whenever it receives it to wherever it shows it you know what I mean like it's faster that way whenever you call you uh, respond to a comment it happens a lot faster than if you use optimized for less viewer buffering if you optimize for less viewer buffering your video is going to take a little bit longer which means your responses are going to be a little bit delayed so if you'd rather have better video, use optimized less viewer buffering. If you want more interaction, like if you want it to be quicker, use optimized for interaction. You can also add a delay here. 
if it allows you to do that. Um, so like, say you're streaming, well, let's say, uh, um, CSGO and you don't want people watching the stream to see, you know, playing against you to see where you're going. You can add an extra delay on there so that it's not showing up, you know, exactly as it's happening. Uh, monetization, you can still monetize with ads. Uh, cards, you can still add a card. And you can change this before you live stream all the time, which is cool. Everything is right here. You don't have to go through setting up a time and then going to preview and all that stuff. As soon as you click, like if you're using OBS, as soon as you click that start streaming button or start broadcasting button, I mean, it. as soon as YouTube gets it, it shows that you're live and it shows up right there. I mean, it happens that fast, which is awesome. You don't have to go through the whole crazy setup and everything else. Um, you can leave your title the same. You can change your title the same. And uh, just like before, you can archive it as private or it can go public whenever you're done. You know, it can save as a video, um, which I like as well. Um, I just think that the way they've done it now is awesome with the stream now. You don't have to go through the crazy process and the crazy setup that you did before to do live stream. That's why I actually didn't live stream much to YouTube was because I hated how long it took to set up a live stream. You had to go through and get your new URL and you know your new stream key or whatever every time to go live stream and it was just it was a process then you had to go through the whole spiel of setting it all up again. Here you can just go through change your title if that's what you want to do change your game and start streaming and you're live you can change your thumbnail if you want to and you're live um, they also added a play ad button here where all you have to do is click play ad and it will play an ad during your live stream like say you gotta take a bathroom break say hey I'm gonna go to the bathroom uh, I'm gonna play an ad just click play an ad and it's a it's a way to help you make more money off of your live streams um, if you do have the uh, the stream tips like the tips available that uh, YouTube offers I don't because I'm partnered with Freedom right now and they do not allow that because of the you know the country that Freedom's from. Um, but if you do have that, it'll show up over here as like a a tipping or or monitor. I don't know how what the, what it says, but it it shows up right here and it shows everyone who's tipped and things like that, which is really cool. Um, I just think that the new beta that they've put out here, which I'm assuming is going to coincide with um, this is something they've changed for the new YouTube gaming that's coming out um, or gaming.youtube because this will allow it to identify the games that you're pl that you're streaming at what you know what game you're streaming and it'll be able to organize that better for gaming.youtube which is supposed to be coming out pretty soon I've heard rumblings possibly the middle of next month the middle of uh, August so I don't know. My guess would be that it might coincide sh somewhere close to when the new when the beta comes out for uh, Call of Duty, because you know a lot of people are going to be streaming that beta. So I think that would be the greatest time for them to launch it. But who knows? I've just I've heard it's going to be the middle of August, but we'll see. I I really have no idea yet, so don't take my word for it. But that's what I'm hearing. But I just wanted to show you guys the new features here. If you have not gotten it yet. Or if you do have this now, uh, I would tell you to check it out. It's actually pretty cool, and it makes streaming to YouTube tons easier. Less stress, less setup involved. You can just do it and go live, and I think it's awesome. So if you guys have any questions, uh, feel free to put them down in the um, comments below, and I will try to get back with you as soon as I can. I try to resp reply to all comments, so if you do have any questions, comments, add them down there. Um, if there's anything I forgot to go over or if you need help with anything um, let me know and I'll help you set it up. Like I said if you know how to live stream then the the new encoder setup and everything is so much easier because it's all you're always going to be streaming to the same server and your stream key you can you've got a stream key here now instead of having to change the URL and all that stuff all the time which is amazing. So thank you guys so much uh, it's your boy Fetters here. Have a great day, night, whatever time it is where you're at. Now I'll talk.